first thing we want to do is move into our own door. We're going to come inside, snap the head, step into our own door. The hand that didn't snap the head is the outcome. This hand snaps the head. Step into our own door. Here, we maintain loose control of that position. Now, if our opponent doesn't square up, doesn't square up, we'll maintain here. We're going to a nice, easy single leg. Here, focus on the rear leg. We're going to step behind. Step behind. Right inside hand. And release the wrist. Follow up on the knee. Yeah. And by right. And by the other foot side, the other foot hand. We're going to drop down and secure the bottom of this leg. And my head pushes the straight to the body. Now, of course, you maintain position on my single leg, pinch my legs. So he can't, it's harder for him to get out. I maintain more control. Here I'm tight on my arms. Now I'm going to step back with my left leg, maintain with my right leg. My right shoulder maintains tight position on his thigh. So I'm pinching his thigh with now with my knee and my shoulder as I step my chest back onto his shin. My armpit goes deep. I secure the foot. Don't grab the foot. I secure the foot. From here, I extend, maintain high position. My bone, and my forearm, is on his Achilles. I cover him. So that with no shoe, you can't turn and kick out. So I cover. So once more, inside position. Snap the head, step into my underhook. From here, I release the wrist. From deep. Rear hand secures, pinch the leg. Step out, make my table position, slide my shoulder down his thigh, to pinch between my shoulder and my knee. Here, secure the arm deep, come up, cover. Do almost a key lock here on the shin. From here I'm stepping backwards. Now, we're going to maintain, we're going to get to the high position. Take my key lock hand, throw an uppercut. Here, keep it tight. Other hand releases, upper cut. Notice I lower my level. I don't just reach. When I reach, I lose control. Here, I maintain the control. Grab the back of my head, cover the knee, walk forward. 